I'm gonna take you back to 2002. It was a hot summer's day. I was out with some friends in London having a few drinks. And we all fancied something fun and tropical. So we headed down the Haymarket uh, to one of our favorite bars at the time, the Sports Cafe. And as I scoured the menu, my eyes were fixated on the hurricane. Rum, tropical juices, grenadine, citrus, that's right up my street. Now it's not that I was disappointed with what I got. It just paid absolutely no resemblance to a hurricane I got a few years later when I went to my then favourite kind of tiki bar in London, Mahiki. And ever since that day, I've absolutely loved the hurricane and appreciated it for the simple cocktail it should be. No tropical juices, no red syrup. Just that simple creation that was invented back in Pat O'Brien's bar in New Orleans, back in World War II, when he just wanted a cocktail just to get rid of all the excess rum that he had. Much like the daiquiri and its three simple ingredient, harmonious blend of rum, lime and sugar, the hurricane is purely dark rum, passion fruit and lemon juice. Now look, I ain't gonna show you the original recipe because unlike Pat O'Brien, I haven't got excess rum that I wanna get rid of. So instead, I'm gonna halve the original recipe. So instead of four ounces, yep, 120 mil, instead of four ounces, I'm gonna bring it down to two ounces of rum. Uh, and then I'm gonna half the passion fruit from two ounces down to an ounce, and then half, obviously half the lemon down from two ounces to an ounce. So we should, we'll have the same ratios uh, as the original recipe, just a hot spot, 120 mil of booze. Now I do think this was actually uh, uh, originally a, a blended cocktail, but I don't even think we need to do that. So I'm just gonna shake it and then I'm gonna serve it over crushed ice. So uh, I've got a double bubble of my dark rum. I'm gonna do an ounce of my passion fruit syrup. And we've already talked about this brand. This is the brand that I'm gonna use. So we're gonna do an ounce of that. And then I'm simply gonna do an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Let's see how much juice we get out of, out of a half, that's really annoying. I'm about, I'm literally about five mil short, so I just need to juice a little bit of this lemon. Perfect. So I've got uh, an ounce of uh, lemon juice. Then I'm just gonna add plenty of ice to my cocktail shaker, and then we're gonna give it a good hard and fast shake for 10 to 12. I'm gonna strain this out, uh, and I'm gonna serve it over crushed ice, but I've just got one little extra thing that I like doing to my um, hurricanes. And that's simply just to add a bit of uh, passion fruit pulp as well. I just think that looks really cool for the decoration, the garnish. So I'm just gonna use half the passion fruit uh, and then the other half will be the garnish. So and then just gonna top this up with plenty of crushed ice. Give it a little final, little stir just to combine the passion fruit pulp. And then I said garnish with that, that bit of extra, excess passion fruit. No, I really love that passion fruit forward. You get the dark rum notes and that. That's all you want. It's just a simple, fun cocktail. Now, so far, I've really loved my journey. I've loved making cocktails and featuring different rums at the end, tasting them side by side to see what difference the rum makes. And that content will live on, but it's gonna live on in my membership community. But before I go, I just wanna talk about passion fruit syrup very quickly. Now, for all you guys in the UK, you'll have seen that I've used ODK passion fruit. It's the brand that I talked about in the previous videos about syrups. And that's simply because I know for you guys at home, these are gonna last much longer than the three months it says so on the back of the bottle after opening. They're gonna last six, 12 months, even longer. I do, however, love the Monin uh, Puree brands as well in the gray bottles, the gray squeezy bottles. But the simple fact is I haven't tested them yet to see how long they will last. It does say use within 30 days. Whether it will last as long as the Monin syrups that purees do, I don't know, but I am testing. But the other alternative is, and this actually comes out from the Smuggler's Cove cocktail book as well. Martin Kate actually recognize, uh, recommends mixing down funkin' passion fruit half and half to normal sugar. But he says it will last a couple of weeks in the fridge. Again, I haven't tested it, so I've got no idea how long that was gonna last. However, this stuff will only last seven to 10 days after opening. So I don't know how long that sugar's gonna make it last, because at the end of the day, that'll have no extra additives to make it long life. However, taste-wise, it will be bang on point. Now, if you're loving the rum journey so far, why don't you join me in the next video? Because in the next one, I'm gonna be taking on the rum punch.